Hello friends, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. If you saw the title of this video, which I'm sure you did, you will know that this video is going to be all about my hair. Everything from how I care for my hair, how I keep my hair blonde, the hair tools that I use, just kind of everything. But to start the video, I'm going to show you two photos. One, what my hair looked like probably, I don't know, I was probably in like 10th or 11th grade and I'd never done anything to my hair and that is my natural hair color just so you can see what it looks like and then I'm also going to show you a photo of my hair when I just air dry it so I've simply just brushed it out and let it dry I haven't done anything to it just so you can see what my hair looks like naturally and now I can share with you how I get it to what it looks like now if you live in Huntsville, I go to Terame, and Mary is the one who colors my hair. She is absolutely amazing, and I really think that what she does is part of the reason that it is as healthy and blonde as it is, because I know that she just, she's just amazing. She does a great, great job, and on occasion, we'll also do like a treatment on my hair, especially if we've put a lot of color on it, which definitely makes a huge difference in the health of my hair and helps it kind of bounce back a little bit faster after being colored. But today I'm going to show you all the things that I do in between colors to keep it as healthy and blonde as possible. So here we go. To start I'm going to share my blonde shampoo which is this. It is the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Collection. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. I absolutely love them. If you are blonde and you are looking for a shampoo to make sure that your hair is not brassy or yellow, this is the one that I recommend. I have never used a blonde shampoo that I love more than this. I have used quite a few and they're all okay, but this one, uh, the, nothing is better than this. And it smells really good. Kerastase is absolutely amazing at making sure that their products smell really good, which for me is a really big deal. I don't know why, I just like when they smell good. And they also work really well. So I only use the shampoo every other week. And then I'll use the conditioner with the shampoo every other week. And then on occasion, I'll use it when I use my other shampoo and conditioner just for a little extra something because once again it smells good and it is a fantastic conditioner. If you are blonde this is what I highly recommend. I don't think that you can go wrong with this and I don't think that you can get better than this. When I am not using the blonde shampoo so about every other week I use this from Kerastase which is for very damaged and over processed hair and I absolutely love this. I'll have it linked down below. I'll have everything linked down below so that you can shop it if you want it. This is for any color hair. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be blonde. This has changed my hair. I really truly believe that this has helped my hair so much. I started using this almost like right after Mary started coloring my hair. So about a year and a half ago-ish or something like that. Um, and I think it has really made a huge, huge difference. I love it. Once again, it also smells good, but it is great if you have colored hair because it is good for damaged hair. Or if you put heat on your hair a lot, also good for that. Two products that I use outside of the shower. The first one is this, which is a blow dry, uh, like a blow dry care for damaged hair and it has a heat protectant in it which is very very nice because before you use heat you always want to use a heat protectant just to help keep your hair as healthy as possible and once again this smells really good and I just I really don't have to use that much but I put it all over my hair but I focus it on my ends and then my little baby hairs because those are the pieces that get the most heat and get damaged the most easily. Another product that I use that I absolutely love is the hair oil. I think this stuff is amazing. You can actually use it when your hair is damp, um, at, like at the same time you use the blow dry one, 
or you can use it when your hair is dry, which is what I prefer. Usually when I'm completely done with my hair, I will just kind of put a little bit in my hand and brush it through like the ends and then my baby hairs. And I just feel like it helps keep my hair like shiny and smooth looking. And especially on like three or four day hair, if you put this like on the ends, I feel like it makes them look less dry. And it's just, I love it. I think it's amazing. I highly recommend. And I feel like because you only have to use like a tiny amount, it lasts forever. Like this has lasted me so, so long. And I feel like I use it all the time. The next things I'm going to talk about are my hair tools. And I feel like hair tools are really important in making sure that your hair stays happy and healthy because the more heat you put on your hair, the more damaged it's going to be. It's kind of pretty simple. But something that I've talked about before, I talked about in my review of it, it is the Dyson Airwrap. I absolutely love this thing. I think it's probably one of the best hair tools I've ever gotten. And that is because it helps like reduce the damage that it's putting on your hair. So it's not quite as intense as a typical hair dryer would be. And as somebody who used to blow dry their hair, straighten their hair and then curl their hair going from that to using this has made a world of difference and really cut down on the amount of heat i'm putting on my hair so slightly different than when i did my little review in my review i used these and i still love them and i'll still use them on occasion but typically what i do is i just dry it to about 80-ish percent with this and then I will just essentially brush it straight with this tool and then I'll smooth it out with this one. It takes me about 20 minutes and it has changed my hair life because I hated drying my hair before this and I honestly wouldn't do it. I would ask my mom to come over and blow dry and straighten my hair because that's how much I hated doing it. With this, I can do it myself, and I love it, and it seriously takes 20 minutes. And right after I'm done using this, I don't have to straighten it, and I can go straight into curling my hair, which is a game changer, because straightening your hair, a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So best purchase. I think they are finally back in stock, so I of course will link it down below. I highly recommend. I know it's expensive, but if you are somebody like me and you don't have naturally straight hair and it takes you a million years to dry your hair, this is where it's at. Of course, I still use a straightener to straighten like the pieces kind of around my hair just because they do not want to be straight any other way. And I use my Paul Mitchell straightener. I only use this once when styling my hair. So after every time I shower, I will style my hair with my Dyson. I will straighten the front pieces with this and I will not use this again until I wash my hair again, which is absolutely fantastic because that really does cut down on the damage that I'm doing to my hair. This is my absolute, absolute, absolute favorite curling wand that I've ever used. It is the dry bar air wrap. I think it's amazing. It lasts in my hair for days, like three or four days, probably five. I could really push it if I wanted to, but I think it's amazing. These are the kind of curls that I prefer. This is just what I feel like looks best on me. I always curl away from my face and I never go like one way away, one towards. Like that's just not my personal preference. I love it. I think it is the best curling wand that you can possibly have. I do, though, have a real curling iron. I have the T3 curling wand or curling iron with the clamp. And I do use this on occasion. If I really just want like a quick curl on my hair, I'll use this because it can take me like two minutes just to get some kind of wave in my hair, whereas the wand will take me a little bit longer. But. I definitely prefer the wand over the this but if this is 
if this is the kind of curl you like, then I do think that this curling iron is pretty good. Of course, I got the pink one, because why not? But I think they're both great. I just prefer the outcome of this and just like the look of it a lot better. I only have three more products left to show you and two of them are ones that I use every time that I fix my hair. The first one being these, which are just these little clips. I don't know exactly where these are from, but I will link the dry bar ones that I have down below. This is what I use to clip up my hair when I'm drying it or when I'm curling it. I think that this style has just worked the best for me, especially because I do have really thick hair. It actually holds it up, which is really, really nice. And they're just easy to use. So I always have these. And then of course, my hairbrush. This is my dry bar one. Best brush I've ever had. I really, really like it. I think it's called the Lemon Drop. I get a new one every few months or so just because I feel like I make brushes really gross. I don't know. I don't know what I do, but I just, I don't like when there's like a lot of hair in there and I try to clean it out as much as I possibly can, but when it gets to the point of no return, I just go get a new one and this has been my favorite brush so far. I love it. A product, the last product I'm going to talk about is my little Kerastase like scalp and hair serum. This is what it looks like. It is a for, I'll just read it to you. It says scalp and hair serum, scalp and hair serum for hair seeking healthy link strengthens and fortifies hair for reduced breakage. I don't use this all the time, but I used it a lot when my hair, like right after I like cut my hair because I was like, Okay, now I want my hair to grow again. <laughs> so I use this a lot then and I really think it made a difference. I really think that it helped keep my hair from breaking and helped it grow a lot. So I really like this. Again, it smells really good. It's a Kerastase product. It does what it says and I think it's awesome. You just kind of like massage it into your scalp and it's fantastic. I just don't use it every single time I wash my hair. I think that is it for my hair care video. I recently wrote a blog post about some hair accessories that I've been loving, so I will link that down below since it's hair related. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer them as best I can. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye. If that makes sense. But I This, I'm so frustrated.